the Messiah's kingdom. The new worship in the Messiah's kingdom. Ezekiel chapter 44 verse 1 to 10. Then he brought me back to the outer gate of the sanctuary which faces toward the east. But it was shut. And the Lord said to me, this gate shall be shut. It shall not be opened and no man shall enter by it. Because the Lord God of Israel has entered by it. Therefore it shall be shut. As for the prince, because he is the prince, he may sit in it to eat bread before the Lord. He shall enter by way of the vestibule of the gateway and go out the same way. Also he brought me by way of the north gate to the front of the temple. So I looked and behold the glory of the Lord filled the house of the Lord and I fell on my face. And the Lord said to me, Son of man, mark well, see with your eyes and hear with your ears all that I say to you concerning all the ordinances of the house of the Lord and all its laws. Mark well who may enter the house and who will go out from the sanctuary. Now say to the rebellious, to the house of Israel, Thus says the Lord God, O house of Israel, let us have no more of all your abominations. When you brought in foreigners, uncircumcised in heart and uncircumcised in the flesh, to be in my sanctuary to defy it, my house, and when you offered my food, the fat and the blood, then they broke my covenant because of all your abominations. And you have not kept charge of my holy things, but you have set others to keep charge of my sanctuary for you. That says the Lord God, no foreigner, circumcised in heart or uncircumcised in flesh, shall enter my sanctuary, including any foreigner who is among the children of Israel. And the Levites who went far from me when Israel went astray, who strayed away from me after their idols, they shall bear their iniquity. May the Lord God Almighty have mercy upon us. John 4, 19 to 24. The woman said to him, Sir, I perceive that you are a prophet. Our fathers worship on this mountain, and you Jews say that in Jerusalem is the place where one ought to worship. Jesus said to her, Woman, believe me, the hour is coming when you will neither on this mountain nor in Jerusalem worship the Father. You worship what you do not know. We know what we worship, for salvation is of the Jews. But the hour is coming and now is when the true worshippers will worship the Father in spirit and truth, for the Father is seeking such to worship him. God is spirit. Those who worship him must worship in spirit and truth. Amen. Amen. We already have explained or we've written that the purpose for this ministration is to show a picture of pure worship God demands and also a call for spiritual transformation. There is a right way and wrong way to approach and worship God. We rightly say that with Christians we are Worshipping the true God and it's only Christianity that is unique among all religions. It's me can see do you say yeah piece of food dear or kaya a fast soon and upon a kaya a demo fia or so through be in his up in view. All other religions want to seek God 
Osuma Hroni Nina Pese Uhu Unyangupo. But man by his own effort cannot know God. It is God who always takes the initiative to reveal himself to man. Na eshinye biye ni ho. Okwen biye ni ho. A unipa bitu ya faswa. Uhu Unyangupo. Nemo no kwasem ni se. Unyangupo wako kwa ya. Onamso eshishwe unipa. The right way to approach God is through faith in the promises of God, which included the coming of the promised Messiah and the great gift of the promised land, a symbol of heaven. To Israel, it was a gift of the promised land. The New Testament says it is a promise in heaven. <laughs> Ene inkwajia onomi Yesu Christ wa ye mizea ya naso A ye kani tia wa ye ojia Nyame kuwe kwa ni mano Ako osro ahini yinu So to say that We are the true worshippers of God Because we have come to believe In the Lord Jesus Christ As the way, the truth and the life E inti si ye kase ye hu Na kure kwa ni na Na e ya mpa Na nchua si ye ni se Ya mpa bi hu ajia nkwa Yesu Christ wa down through Israel's history, Israel, the people had approached and worshipped God in the wrong way. Even though God revealed Himself through the patriarchs unto them, He gave them His oracles. But they had not trusted the promise of God, but trusted their own good works to make them acceptable to God. And so some even strayed by worshipping false gods, not the only living and true God. In our next series, we would present the nature of idolatry. Why Israel, even though had received the oracles of God, but they tried to worship false gods. In church, ah, you be this one. You be church of Kenya. Israel, eh, eh, kuti eh, na afi ofa sa kwenye su nyango po, nyamia horwa. Ne yewe ni adi ni se o su nyango po. But just to say a part of it is that. The people trusted other gods because the other gods promised them material things. Na sentia okosu nyame fufuru ni se nyame fufuru hwe wan bose obinya honan mu niema. And they would not serve a god who will only say I'm a jealous god. Have me alone. Don't go to any other person. Na when twi ansu nyango ponga First, gods like Baal and Asherah were promising the people there were fertility gods, there were rain gods, and these people, these gods promised them, and you, God, you are telling us that we should serve you alone. Now, Oshia Asherah, Abusuma Hura of Philistines, and Abusuma Hura of Philistines, and Abusuma Hura of Philistines, Sometimes you are in the church and you be complaining, you Pentecost, are you the only people or do you are you the only uh, church, Pentecostal church? Sometimes you say, Oh, your laws are too hard. So Israel could not just stick to one God. There were other gods who gave promises. And some worked. Israel and me and soon yango pon or crack chrono or so many for Adintia. Even though God has showed them. The right worship. So from our reading, Ezekiel chapter 44. Ezekiel.